Hey, everybody. Okay, so have you checked your phone in the last... 20 minutes. Yes. If you were just talking to me, have you checked your phone in the last two minutes? <laughs> Listen, maybe we all have. Um, so whether it's for social media updates, emails, or to check in with family and friends, it really seems like we're always plugged in to our digital devices. So today we're going to be getting digital wellness tips to help us manage our love-hate relationship with digital media to bring us these life-changing tips is mental health and digital psychology expert, Mary Donahue. Hello. Hi. Hi. What a great thank title. You. Oh, thank you. <laughs> Welcome to the show. I, can you start by explaining what digital yeah. well-being means and about your own personal journey? Sure. Digital well-being is using your screens okay. to create work-life balance. Oh. Oh, okay. Using your screens for good. Okay. Oh. And six months ago, I wasn't doing that. I was lying in a cardiac care unit <gasps> from overwork, a heart attack, and stress. And so when I woke up, and I realized, wow, what have we done to ourselves? What have we done to our lives with screens? And I realized as a scientist, I had to create a way to cause screens to bring down that stress. And so I did. What I did is I looked at how our brains operate on stress, what we're doing, how we're doing it, and I started to create content that stimulates your brain's natural reaction and has it calm down. Holy ah. smokes, yeah. Mary. Cool. Jeez, uh, well, yeah. will you advocate for people to, you know, take time away from their phones? Your research has also shown that the use of digital therapeutic content can help to manage stress right. and boost productivity. So can you tell us about these findings? So what we originally started doing was telling people not to be off their phone, take time off their phone. 82% of adults could not do that. Wow. So the product was useless. Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so we had to take the product in and we used puzzles and art and movement and controlled breathing and created what is now known as micro breaks and mixed in some positive psychology. And what we were able to produce were these quick little breaks. And these breaks cause your brain to get rid of all that digital pollution our screens build up. So think of it as a quick wash, like when you shower, boom, yeah. done. Mm. And what happens is that you feel better. You feel more positive. It's called the positive effect. Mm. And once you have the positive effect, you get more work done. You get seven times more work done. When sur wow. surgeons use it, you're seven times more effective. And it can be as little as 45 minutes to three and a half minutes a day. Wow, that's significant. It is. I, I don't know if I'm indicative of most people, but I have a love-hate relationship with my tech. Like, of course, it's like, uh, you know, I know before bedtime, for example, when I do reduce my usage, my stress goes down, I sleep better. But conversely, it's so central in my life. I do my banking on there. It's how I keep up with friends and family. Mm -hmm. um, you know, sometimes watching shows. I mean, it's really become so central in key aspects of my living and so how do I disengage mm. when it is literally sometimes the center of my day? Understand it's your brain. It's not bad habits. It's not bad. It's your brain wanting those dopamine hits of, oh my gosh, I'm important. I'm connected. I've got my family. This is awesome. So take a little break. And what I suggest to people do is just try it for a little while. Um, for example, on a Friday night, take a picture of yourself resting and post it on your social media and say, hey, I'm not answering texts or emails resting and you're managing everybody's expectations of you and you can tell them how long you're doing it i start on friday nights at six o'clock and turn back on sunday mornings at 7 a.m that's how i'm changing i'm sorry what did you say friday <laughs> to sunday yeah do you but have a, i know you can't do you have start a rotary that. phone like maybe, do you have yeah a, maybe you start but you can start small you can start friday <laughs> night look at, look at for, it's like you for i know i have half an, an hour i do 8 p.m oh, to 8 a.m weekends yeah. No. Anyway, sorry, I don't even know. I, I, just you're just like speaking away. A and she, like, you see, I didn't step away, and I was in the cardiac care unit at right. St. Mike's. Okay, no. So this is actually yeah. super important to learn, That's and it's really, the right to say to her. really hard. <laughs> Okay, <laughs> noted, noted. Um, a yeah. big part of this, I think, for any parent who's watching is the concern around digital exposure mm -hmm. for kids. So how do we implement digital well-being standings for our kids while also recognizing that, like, it is central to who they are, mm. being interconnected yeah. and, you know, uh, using these devices? All of the digital is so important right now because our kids are digital natives. So think of the rule up and down. 
So up is when you're moving physically. You're creating that clearing in the frontal lobe of your brain. Down is when you're sitting on your phone, you're doing your homework, or you're exploring social media, because social media isn't bad. It's how you process the information on social media that's bad, and that's what parents have to watch. Just like parents in the 80s had to control TV. Remember when TV changed in the 80s and latchkey kids could only watch TV? It's the exact same thing. We just have to start training ourselves now to think of the phone as part of our life and make rules for it. So think up, get your kids moving, down, understand what they're doing on the phone. So balancing out those like, two things. Mm, I like okay. how you said that too. We have to we have to adjust our heads. Like the phones are part of our lives. I was just thinking about this the other day. Even for traveling, how do you travel without a smartphone? You can't. Mm -hmm. Yeah. No. Anyway, sorry. Yeah, yeah. great point. Love it. So we got a lot of questions too from our viewers on social media. Okay. <laughs> One of those questions was, why do we feel so tired after we've spent a lot of time on emails or <laughs> virtual calls and digital services? Uh, devices, even if we are using it for fun and relaxation purposes? It's really simple. I want you to think about your arm. Put your arm out. Move your arm up and down, up and down, up and down, up and down. And guess what happens? How does your arm feel? Tired. Tired. That's how your brain feels when it's on social media. Oh. And the more you do it, the more it hurts. Or not just social media, when you're answering emails, when you're you know, shopping or doing whatever. You, your brain is still processing information and it controls your body. So that's why these breaks are so important. If you drop your arm down, loosen your fingers, your, brain, your hand relaxes. Your brain does the same thing. You're so tired because you're not getting off. Mm. Oh my gosh. I'm just thinking to all the online schooling my poor child has done over oh, yes. the last two years, and I'm no wondering wonder she's why so she's so <laughs> cranky, and tired. She is. Uh, let's talk about digital fatigue for a second, mm -hmm. uh, because it has become an emerging issue that leads to poor mental health, especially since this pandemic. What can you tell us about digital fatigue and how we can combat it? How do we get over this then? Your daughter, your kids, your friends, you are all digital athletes now particularly post-COVID. Mm -hmm. Think of yourself on a treadmill, running at the highest level, the highest speed. Except on digital, we're not taking any breaks. So we're actually literally running a marathon all the time. And what happens when you overwork yourself? I'm a runner, I know what happens when you run too much. You get exhausted, you have breakdowns, you get tired and you pull a muscle. So take time, stretch, Use a micro break, do a little puzzle, listen to a little music, dance, drink some water. So you're like saying analog. Just go, go off the digital step and away. go analog. But also lean into the digital. The digital is good. That's why we created micro breaks that use art, that use um, storytelling and learning and controlled breathing. Okay. Wow. Okay, let's go back to social media for a second because I sure. think sometimes we can get you know, 10 comments that are mm -hmm. so beautiful and they make us feel good. We get that little dopamine rush. And maybe once a month, once or two months, you'll get like a nasty comment. We were talking about one that Every you got. Every day in my world. But <laughs> this is a great, this is a great thing that I'm gonna ask here because I don't know if this is true for you, but you go through the nice ones, oh, that's so nice, that's so nice, that's so nice. And then you see the bad one and you fixate on the bad one. You fixate on that garbage. How do you break that cycle? That's your brain. Yeah fight or flight. Your brain needs to know if there's danger. So your brain is drawn to it. 90% of the time we look at things as more negative than they are. They're actually positive. So you refresh and reframe. You can do this, teach this to anyone. Refresh, look at what you're seeing in the media and take a picture of all those good comments, put them on your screen and look at those. And then when you see the bad comments, you see all the good comments. I like to look at them all the time. And then reframe. When you get a bad comment, I need you to think in your head, oh, you know, this person cares so much about me and the show that they're commenting. I'm so glad. Mm. Interesting. <laughs> now, it's not going to work for her today, maybe, but tomorrow. <laughs> um, oh, God, still fixating on that guy. Uh, <laughs> before you go, we have a micro break demonstration you're going to give to well, us. So, we do. Um, it's a, how to refresh our brains after a long stint on digital devices. So Correct. Do I'll do a really short one. I'll okay. need you to put both mm -hmm. your feet on the ground if you can. If you're comfortable with it, take your hands, put them here, or put them on your belly. I like them on my belly so okay. I can feel the breathing. Okay. If you're comfortable, drop your head down, lower your eyes, and I'm gonna ask you to take a long breath in through your nose, two, three, blow it out, 
four, five, six, seven. In, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And as you're doing that, feel your hands relax. Feel your stomach relax. Feel your neck and your shoulders relax. And be aware of your breathing coming from your stomach, not your chest. Very nice. And what you've just experienced is a little digital well moment. Okay. Mel, I think, is liking her digital break so much. <laughs> <laughs> she might keep them up. Mel, are you going to not pick up you. your phone when we go Very on proud break? Very proud of you. I don't know. I just want to reply to that guy so hard. <laughs> I won't, Mary. You know why? Because I'm better than that, especially after having listened to you, Mary. We all, I swear, we all need these digital well-being tips. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. Can you stick around a little longer? Absolutely. <laughs> commercial break, baby. Um, yeah, I'm not even joking. We'll be right back right after this. <laughs>